Hey guys, it's Tiffany with Mud and Mascara. So, y'all saw the video of the smoked turkey that me and Mr. C did. I want to make some salsa and then I'm going to tie in how to make the beans and how to do the smoked turkey just heating it up. We're going to make some street tacos tonight out of the refried beans. Y'all haven't seen this video yet, but it is on the way. So, out of the garden. I have a small cucumber in here. This is a different type of salsa. So this is all I have. So we're working with what I got, okay? So what I have here is half of it, little, a quarter of an onion, fresh tomatoes, two little cloves of garlic, not the big fat ones, the little ones. Another cucumber here, okay? So what I'm gonna do is put all this in here. And I don't have any fresh limes, but I do take my limes and I freeze them in ice cube trays, which is something that comes in handy when you don't have it, okay? So, in here, put this out of the way, just in case it needs more tomatoes. So in here I've got the garlic, the onions, the cucumbers, and where am I missing? Tomatoes, the big ones right there, all right? So, and I'm not ready to harvest those jalapenos y'all saw in the garden update. So, I made some extremely hot uh, pickles, and we're gonna use some of that juice. Now, the limes, I don't have any fresh limes. Okay, so I have limes and what I do is when nobody's using them or when we buy a big batch for Mexican night or Spanish night, I take them and I squeeze them all out and I put them in the ice tray just like this and I freeze them for times like this when I'm trying to make salsa and I don't have it, all right? So, I'm gonna mix this up right here. And I might add a little bit more tomato to it, okay? Whoops, I just flipped that on the floor and that's okay. <laughs> Let me add a little bit more tomato to it, guys. Give me just a second, guys. Now the tomatoes and stuff came out of the garden. Uh, the garlic did not and the part of the onion did not y'all know that my onions did not do so well this year so i'm making do with what i have and i think i need to sharpen this knife just for here all right so we're going to add a little bit more tomato in here okay yeah that looks a little better all right we're gonna add a pinch of salt in it, up to your liking. Just a little bit of salt. All right, I do not have jalapenos, but I decided to make these pickles and they are so hot that we cannot eat them. So what I'm gonna do is drain a little bit of juice for jalapeno in here. So that we got a little heat going on. Not too much, but just a little. Okay. All right, so everything is mixed up here. And y'all, I've never made this salsa before, so we'll just see here what it tastes like. So, my limes are starting to melt. I'm going to go ahead and add them in here. My ice cubes. And just keep mixing it up until my limes melt. And let it set off to the side. So. We will be back in a few minutes after this melts and we give it a taste test. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys.
guys how to do the beans. These are canned refried beans. Real simple to actually make. So, Alright. If you don't have bacon grease, you can use oil, what, you know, whatever you want. It's, it's up to what, what you want to do. Okay? So, I always keep bacon grease around. Two spoonfuls of bacon grease. I've got the eye on about six right now because this needs to melt. And, because uh, when you, <clears throat> excuse me, put the beans in there, it's going to be popping. Okay? Because you want that to be hot. Also, in this pan, I'm going to take the smoked turkey and just heat it up with just a little bit of grease so that it doesn't, so that it doesn't, you know, whatever, stick to it or whatever, okay? So, in here is the turkey that we smoked from this, from, the, from yesterday. And I'm going to shred it up and put it in here. The beans are going to go in here. Now, Mr. C and I, that day that we made the beans, we had, we ate them that day. And I saved the leftovers to add into here. Okay? So, while that is doing that, I am just going to take, while that's heating up, I'm just going to take a, a few. And look at the smoke ring on this. Can you see it? This turkey was so tender. And it, from what I've heard, turkey can be so dry when you smoke it. But it, it really, I mean, man, it tasted awesome. So, but I do have a few pieces here. Right here. Now. This is hot. Very hot, very hot. Why is my little one here? It is. All right. So this is going to be, and I'm going to show you how hot it is, or hopefully, if you take it, if you have a real wooden spoon, just so you know, you can put this in here. And if it's hot enough, it's going to start boiling, you know, kind of bubbling up down here beside the spoon. Y'all see that? That means that oil is getting hot. Okay. See the oil in there? Look. Okay. So we're going to put this jar in here. Just like this. That's what I'm saying. It's hot. When you're making refried beans, you want it to do that. Right. And then I'm going to add what was left over from my dinner in here. Okay? So, in the refried beans that I show y'all how to make, there's a bay leaf in there. So make sure that you pull that out. Okay? We'll put that in the compost bin. So once this is like this, you're just going to kind of let it come to temperature. And you can see when James and I ate the beans that were left over from Cannon, we have a little bit of meat in there. But, and then what you're going to do is you want to let all this come out. You want it to boil out just a little bit. And as it's boiling, you just want to take, you know, like a, you can use a potato masher or whatever, a spoon or whatever. And, and you want to just squish the beans down in here just like this. Okay. And you might remember to take the bay leaf out of it, which I just did. I just thought I didn't, but I did. Kind of lost, lost my train of thought there. So while this is pulling the liquid out, 
because you definitely, to make refried beans, you want the liquid to come out right here. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. About medium, medium, you know, kind of low, medium, low. And we have one pan that we make our taco shells out of, and this is it. I do not do the taco shells in my cast iron. I could, but I don't. So as this is boiling, make sure you're keeping an eye on it and keep mashing those beans down, okay? Because you want most of this liquid to evaporate out of here while you're mashing. If you like it chunky, leave the beans like that. But they do need to be mashed up a little bit to, you know, make that refried bean texture on there, all right? And just kind of stir it up so that it doesn't burn. Because the beans, when they come out of the jar, they are very, very thick. Same spatula. We're just gonna move this around right here like so. And what I'm gonna do here is I don't I don't really want to cut this meat, so I'm just gonna kind of shred it up in here. And all I'm doing is bringing this up to temperature. I'm not I'm not putting any tacos, seasonings, fajita spices. These are just plain out smoked turkey street tacos, okay? Nothing fancy, just really good. All right, look at that smoke ring, James. I mean, it's pink and totally done on, it's so tender, y'all, look. It's just, it's just tender. I'm shocked. All right. Now, we're gonna get this heated up, just like so. And I'm just shredding this in there. Some people like their meat like super chopped up and stuff. I mean, if that's the way you want it, chop it up. I'm more of a shredded kind of taco person myself. It's just my doing stuff. Turn that up just a little bit. Look at this. Just, and this is cold. I mean, it's just crumbling. It's so tender. I'm, I'm just very shocked. I will be smoking another turkey for sure. This is my first time smoking a turkey. Let me hit that one and kind of turn it down just a little bit. Okay. heating up and we're working on cooling this off that's the thing about cast iron once you get it hot you gotta tone it down it's hard to get it to cool off super fast but i i enjoy my i love my cast iron actually love it love working with it all right so i'm just mashing this together one more time around the block and i'm gonna go ahead and cut this off okay because this is going to hold the heat. Now, on a regular uh, pan, you may need to turn it down on low. Okay? Alright. Now, over here, I'm just going to kind of take this and let it heat up by itself. Y'all can do street tacos, you know, however you want to. I just wanted to showcase this turkey because, man, it, it's very good. It's like chicken. <laughs> well, this ain't like no chicken. This was good. This was really good. And I do want to give a shout out to Drunken Chef. He's, uh, I love his channel. All his barbecue buddies have really inspired me lately to get back into smoking and barbecuing. Um, I love to cook anyway, so, but this just, 
this was just really good, I must say. Alright. So I'm going to heat that up. Let it heat up a little bit. If you need to add a little more grease to it, you can. Like, you can smell the smoke. You know, where we smoked it. it smells so good. So, if you need a little more grease, you can always add it in there. In the center. Because I definitely don't want anything to dry out. At all. Alright. So, one more step. Back to this salsa. Okay, so what I did was I added it another lime cube and added the rest of the tomato. And this is very good. I mean, if you wanted to, you could have more heat in there. Y'all need to try to make some salsa with some cucumbers. It's very good. All right, so I think I can heat it up. I'm gonna turn this down on low. I'm gonna go get a little bit of oil, and I'm gonna show you how we do it. How we do our pies. Okay, so this is what So in this pan, I'm going to put a little bit of corn oil in here, just to cover the bottom of it, alright? And I got this on about in between medium and six, so sort of like a five and a half -ish. Yeah. <laughs> alright, so what I have here is, uh... I cannot pronounce this name, uh, but you can get these at the grocery store in the Mexican now. Okay, okay, and they are just uh, like a light corn tortilla. Okay, all right. So in here, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more. Now in this one, when we do our corn tortillas, Jamie, my daughter, her husband, they do it like this. And she's not here right now. But anyways, they put salt in the oil so that that tortilla has the salt flavor in it, okay? Let me grab some All right, so once we see this salt dissolve, we're gonna make three tacos for Mr. C. Now remember what I said about checking the oil, okay? Because this needs to be really warm really warm not like scalding hot where it's gonna like blow into a potato a tortilla chip you don't want that but it does need to be warm so if you want to check your oil make sure you got a wooden backside that's all right got a wooden backside to check it but i can already tell that this is not hot enough yet because there's still salt in the bottom of the pan okay so This is still, see how this thickens up, y'all? It's not so much water in it. You, and if you want it to be thicker than that, then you can, you know, keep it warm and boil more of the water out of it. But we like it, that texture with the beans in there and some of it mashed. And the meat looks good. It's not burning. We got it down low. Yeah. 
I just can't believe the smoke ring on my turkey breast still. All right. I'm going to turn this up just a hair. The salsa is done right here. And this is getting there. So do y'all like, if y'all like street tacos, let me know. We, we eat tacos, burritos. We eat a lot of, of Mexican, Italian food here. And, you know, this literally, if I canned this turkey, this would have all been straight out of the pantry, okay? And these you can make. We have the masa to make these. We just have these on hand, and I need to use them. So we make, you know, tamales, empanadas, all that, all that yummy stuff. I don't want this to burn. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and cut that off. Alright, let's see where we are. See? Alright, so we're going to put this in here. And it's starting to boil. Now, a couple of us around here like ours crispy. And some of us do not. So, we're just going to spin it like this for a few minutes. Well, not really a few minutes. See the bubbles in it? All right, right there. Let's go ahead and flip it over and let it kick up right here. And I might have a little bit too much oil in the pan, but that's okay. I mean, probably 30 tacos are going to get eaten tonight, I'm sure. And you just want to keep turning. You don't want it to get too burnt on one side, okay? And the salt really does help in here, y'all. It gives it gives a good amount of texture and flavor to the actual tortilla. Or tortilla, however y'all want to say that. Let me see if I can go ahead and slide this one in here and get it working. So you can see the difference in the color in this. Now, Mr. C don't like his extra crunchy. He likes it kind of soft, okay? So, once you get it to this level, let me go ahead and flip this one over. And you can see it shrunk up some. See that if you put this one right here? It's a, it's a little bit smaller. The one up with Ricky. Yep. So we're gonna put a little of the drippage off and lay it right here. And then we're going to work on this one. Usually, we start out with three tacos and then everybody comes back for more. But not everybody's home right now. We're trying to film while everybody's gone real quick. Because it's hard. That Miguel and Micah went and ate pizza today with their mama and a friend of theirs. So, that's all I've been doing today is shooting videos. So you might see me in the shirt about 15 times, <laughs> but it's all in one day. <laughs> all right. So, and look, y'all, you can put cheese on these. You can put salsa on them. It, that, the road is endless to how you want a street taco. A street taco is all about you, okay? It's your style. It's what you like on your taco. So, you could add lettuce, you could add, we don't have cilantro, but you could add cilantro, jalapenos, fresh onion, fresh tomato, or just salsa, you know, or hot sauce, or, you know, the road is endless on a street taco, I must say. So, and they are absolutely delicious. I wonder what it'd be like to smoke an empanada. You know what I'm saying? Like, actually smoke it and with a dough. I wonder if that would work. That would be something cool to try out. Mr. C loves empanadas. <laughs> That's actually who I'm talking to, but he's not answering. 
But that would be cool to get some of that cumin mash light. Make the empanadas, put them on a tray, maybe lightly brown them, and then put them in there and smoke them. I wonder what that would taste like. That would probably be off the hook. All right. So, let me cut this off because nobody else is here but us right this second. All right. Now, remember I said the road is endless on this, right? So you can put anything you want to on it. But this is the way Mr. C likes them. So a little bit of beans, a little bit of beans. Just a little bit of taco of turkey right here. So remember, these are street tacos, so they're not, you know, like a what do you call that? The big and stuff taco that you get from the grocery store. So you kind of got to make these a little smaller, you all have a hot mess in your hand. And you could get some Mexican cheese and put on here, sort of like the queso melty cheese stuff. Mm -hmm. And we don't have that today. We ate it the other day. Sorry about that. All right. So anyways, what I'm gonna do is actually get a slotted spoon so that your tacos are not squishy. All right. So remember guys, if you ain't got everything to make salsa, make it with what you got. So we got some cucumber, tomatoes, garlic, onion, some frozen lime cubes in there, and a little bit of hot spicy pickle juice for a little bit of jalapeno. And this is something you can make out of your garden in your pantry, you know. You can your turkey, you can your... We make this all the time with canned chicken that we do. We can chicken all. I mean, every time we go to the grocery store, it's top priority to replace what we use. So, this is for you, Drunken Chef. This is my take on some smoked turkey street tacos. All right, guys, I love y'all. Subscribe, like, leave me and drop me a comment. Have a good night. And I added a little bit of sour cream. I'm gonna give y'all a taste test right here, right now. All right, guys. I took a taste. Now I'm gonna let y'all see it. I wanted to make sure it tastes good. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> All right. Anyways, here we go. Street taco, smoked turkey, crazy salsa made from the garden. That's why I say you can't overfill them. Man, that's good. Mmm.